Uh, welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have these two functions f of x equals 8x plus 5 and g of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 10. And we need to add these two functions, that is part A, subtract this function, part B, multiply part C and divide part D. These are four function operations, how I call them here. And let's start with A, which says f plus g of x, that will be f of x plus g of x. So in this case, we have 8x plus 5. And I'm going to use this parenthesis here just to show that this is f of x. You don't really need them. Plus g of x, x squared plus 2x plus 10. And again, I'm going to use parentheses, but in this case, you don't really need them. So what is the result of this guy? And let's take a look. We notice we have only x squared here, but then we have 8x plus 2x. That will be 10x. And then we have a last part, which is 5 plus again, 10, that will be 15. So it's combining like terms, exactly like this. You add the two function by combining like terms. So this is part A. Let's move to part B, where we have to subtract these two functions. So we have f minus g of x, that will be f of x minus g of x. Let me be sure this is x, f here. Uh, and in this case, ladies and gentlemen, I would strongly suggest to use parentheses. So we have 8x plus 5 minus x squared plus 2x plus 10. And what do we have here? Uh, again, we notice just this x squared, but we have a negative in front, so there will be negative x squared. Then we have 8x minus, don't forget about this minus, 2x. That will be positive 6x plus 6x. And then we have one more thing, 5, positive 5, minus again, positive 10, 5, minus 10, that will be negative 5. Okay, this is uh, f minus g of x. Let's go to the next operation. I think I'm going to move on the right side, which is f times g of x f times g of x and obviously that means i mean looking to the other side that's the reason i said obviously that will be f of x times g of x which is going to be the, the this interesting product 8x plus 5 a binomial times this x squared plus 2x plus 10 a trinomial i personally like to do this multiplication using this method, the box method, I call it. Okay. I'm going to make a box rectangle. You see, uh, I'm going to have three columns and two rows. Two rows because you have the binomial 8x plus 5. Three columns because we have the trinomial x squared plus 2x plus 10. And what do we have here when you multiply 8x times x squared is 8x cubed. So we fill in the box. 8x times 2x, that will be 16x squared. 8x times 10, that will be 80x. Let's move to the second row where we're going to do what? 5 times x squared, 5x squared. Then we have 5 times 2x, that is 10x. And then I have 5 times 10, that is 50. And now let's get the final form 
of this f times g of x, which is going to be what? 8x cubed, that's the only term that has the power of 3. But then we look in and we have 5x squared and 16x squared. We add those two guys, then we have 21x squared. Then we have the these two x's, the 10x plus 80x, that will be 90x. And then the last term will be 50 plus 50. This is f times g of x. And we have a last thing, I think it's an easy thing, which is f over g f divided by g of x. That is part d. And this was part C, f over g, f divided by g of x. And in this case, it's simply 8. In fact, let me write the other form to be consistent. That will be f of x over g of x. That's the reason I said it's simple. And that will be 8x plus 5 over x squared plus 2x plus 10. And that's it in this example. If you enjoy this example, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see for more help. Thank you.